Welcome to the Joe Thomas Hour, the best two minutes of your life. I'm here with the greatest Browns tight end in history, Jerry Barnage, and also one of the hottest fantasy tight ends in history. I get my friends hitting me up all the time thanking me for uh, the little tip about starting Gary Barnage because you're tearing it up in the fantasy world. I'm sure you knew that. So thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. I'm sure you're very excited. All right, Jerry Barnage, if you could ask your future self one question, what would it be? Um, why is your body fat 20%? <laughs> 20, that seems a little low. <laughs> All right, for those of you uh, fans at home that don't know a lot about Jerry Barnage and his eating habits, give us the number one recovery drink that you like to drink after a tough training camp practice or after a, a, a hot day on a Sunday after a big Browns win? Uh, nice a and cream soda. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It's very good, love it a lot. Now what about food? You've got a few food groups that you like to enjoy. What would those be? Basically everything, I eat everything. I love hibachi grill though, hibachi grill. So Shinto, who is also a big fan of Joe Thomas's, and uh, that's a great place. They actually sponsor our show, millions and millions of dollars, <laughs> Shinto's pays, and we don't even have to run an ad for them. We just have guys like you mention them, and the, the money keeps rolling in. What is the last thing that you've taken a picture of? Uh, me without a tooth. <laughs> oh, really? Now that happened last week against? Against uh, the Rams. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, my helmet came off and I uh, caught my, my tooth on the helmet and lost tooth and busted my lip. Now, how did they take care of you after that happened? When you came to the sidelines, what happened? Uh, I had spit my tooth out on the sideline and I wiped off the blood and then I went back in and got stitches at halftime. Now, were they able to save the tooth or is that something that you just kind of put into your piggy bank and show your kids about someday? Uh, they did put it in a little save a tooth container, but the uh, tooth couldn't be saved. So what are they gonna do to fix your beautiful smile? Uh, put it in a crown. Ouch. <laughs> You're a big movie buff. You actually have your own website, too, that reviews movies. That's pretty cool. I do. called moviegameplan.com. Now, when's the last time you've updated that? Uh, it's updated now. I got to get, uh, we'll have new reviews on it this week. Oh, great. Now, what's your favorite movie that you've watched in the last year? The last year would probably be The Martian mm -hmm. or The Gift. Mm -hmm. The Gift, a lot of people haven't seen. It's a darker movie, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. So give our fans at home a little preview of what you do on the website. You get on there and do written reviews, or do you do, you do uh, like a vlog type reviews? I go on there, I do written reviews. I'm also going to have guest reviewers. This man right here is going to review James whoop, Bond, whoop. the new Spectre movie, when it comes out. So I will have that review on there as well. And I do a little bit of everything. I have news articles as well. So you liked Martian. Give us a quick synopsis of Martian. Uh, guy gets stranded. They, everybody pulls together to try and get him off of Mars, and he's there for a long time. And how many uh, broken teeth up do you give it? Uh, I'm going to give it, out of five, I'm going to give it four. Four broken teeth. All right, cool. That sounds like a good one. Maybe I'll have to check it out. Now, you're kind of known as a, a big kid around the team. You've got some, some neat cars that show up in the parking lot every now and then. What is the favorite car that you have? Uh, I'd have to say my truck. It's my first vehicle I've ever owned. It's a big green truck. But there's a rumor that you have like 50-inch uh, tires on it, but you only have rear-wheel drive. What's that all about? Yeah, uh, uh, Denali, they, when they first came out as trucks, they made them as a luxury vehicle. They were only uh, two-wheel drive. They didn't make them um, four-wheel. So I got stuck with that. And then the next year, they changed it to four-wheel. So you're not worried about getting stuck in the Cleveland snowy winters? Uh, I throw salt and rocks in the back to help. That's the only thing I can do.